Yo, ladies and gentlemen, y'all read the title right. We are at our one year anniversary from when I quit my job to go full time on YouTube. Crazy. Roll it. Guys, it's crazy to me that it was one year ago that I officially had quit my job and y'all guys, the community, the people that are out there watching this video, y'all were the ones that allowed me to literally quit my full time job that would have had amazing benefits would have had a, a decent pay for sure and keep the channel alive pursue the passion of what of what i think i could do and who i could be as a as a content creator for youtube twitch or anywhere i personally see myself of having a lot of potential to be in front of this camera for y'all guys whether it be here whether it be making ads like the ones for honey whether it be on twitch or just everywhere i i i know i know and believe i have that potential to be somebody that y'all guys could come to for entertainment like I, I just want to see that grow and a year ago as of this month all of that was in jeopardy for those that don't know and thinking about it there's probably going to be a decent amount because as of this month as well we hit our 200,000 subscriber mark so congrats to us guys for the 200,000 but when i made a year ago when i made the video saying that i needed y'all's help I might have had maybe 120,000 people at that time. So there are a lot of people here potentially watching this video who have no idea what happened a year ago. So let me just give you a quick rundown so you can understand exactly why, why I'm even making this video, why I'm even still on YouTube, why I'm still in front of this camera for y'all guys. So just for a real quick synopsis, I was someone who was in the financial securities industry who was who was going to be working for a financial firm dealing with and you know just being a wealth manager, dealing with people's IRAs, 401k Roth IRAs, you know, stocks, bonds, their entire portfolio of investments. Like I was going to be that person at that point. I thought that, you know, YouTube is a fun thing. It's cool to have this passive income. It's cool to have the support on Patreon for a little bit, you know, just here and there, people who are willing to support and say, Hey, we enjoy your content. Go. Here's a couple of dollars a month. You know, never in my wildest dream at that point, did I even think I would have to go, go full-time YouTube. And to be honest, full-time YouTube was forced upon me by my job because I was someone who was going to be dealing with the stock market and all of that. FINRA, the overseen body, the over the overseen, I don't know about body, but the people who, the people who set the rules and regulations for the financials market say that you got to, I have to disclose all of my income over the last 10 years. And I get it because of, you know, money laundering, yada, 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 and red line, you know, just everything that goes around ar around the securities industry, YouTube and Patreon, they, they were part of my income at that point. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, here, boom, here's YouTube. Here's the, here's the income. Let's keep this thing rolling until I get my fuck my license. And in that process, after I submitted those documents and then after I submitted the channel and, and my income that I've gotten from Google and from Patreon, like I was like, all right, cool. I'm just going to get back to what I was doing. About a week later, I got an email from from that department that reviews all of that and was like, we need more information on this channel. Like, what exactly is it that you do? We need to we need to see the link like we need a, we need a link to the channel so we could see it with our own eyes. And I was like, bet I just make I make music reviews, music reactions, vlogs, those kind of things. And I'm like here, it shouldn't be an issue. About a week later after that, I get an email from my boss that says that this this was something that this area had never seen before and they basically they basically decided against it they said that the income that i got from youtube and and my channel on youtube because i did get income from it it was a potential reputational risk to the firm and i needed to and i needed to get rid of it so i was like all right well i mean i could turn off the income that's not a big deal but that wasn't enough for them they were like you actually have to delete the channel aka delete all of my videos delete basically get rid of the entire community that i had built at that point for like the last year and a half maybe two years at that point point. and obviously that's a super shitty thing to hear like all this work for this passion that you have it is all being it is all going to potentially come to a collapse because some big wig white dude in some corner office in houston or dallas texas was like you know what i don't like the way that this looks we have a lot of money on the line i don't like the music i don't even know why they came to the decision that they did all they said was reputational risk and I need to delete the channel. So obviously at this point, I'm like super fucking bummed Th this job. I finally feel like I find a, a fi find a career with this job being a securities investments, you know, as financial advisor. Technically, I finally think I found something where, where I'm suited. It matches my level of IQ to where I'm not bored of it. And but I'm also not like drowning in and not knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. And I had YouTube that I was doing as a passion. So everything was kind of just coming together. And then for them to tell me my main job, that my passion was a risk to this company that I was just a cog at, 
I was like, that shit is fucking terrible, bro. So I, I made a video the next day. Like, yo, I need y'all's help as a community. At this point, I had maybe 120,000 subs, like I said. Like, I need y'all as a community. It's far-fetched, but if y'all don't want to see this channel disappear because my main job is basically me forcing me to delete it, like corporate America is forcing me to delete my passion and my dream, like, if y'all can please support the Patreon, I would greatly appreciate it, and we can keep this thing rolling. It's really the only, it's, on, it's the only option that I have is the support of Patreon to compensate for the money that I would have made on the channel or on, on, the, on the corporate America job. I needed that amount of money to supplement on Patreon. And I was like, there's no way it's going to happen. It's a decent amount of money. Literally within 48 hours, I had that money plus maybe a little bit over. And after I saw that, I talked with my dad. I talked with my mom. I talked with my brother, everybody who was my stepmom, everybody who was anybody in my life of importance in that moment. And they're like, bro, you, you got to pull the trigger. You got to do it. It's a once in a lifetime situation that 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 suit job, white collar job will always be there. So literally within a four day time span, y'all are the ones who stepped up and allowed me to quit my job within four days of them telling me that I had to either, res you know, delete the channel or I was going to get terminated. I don't even remember what day it was on. I was just so like, in, like, wow, this can't be, this is actually happening right now. They gave me the option on Monday and the ultimatum on Tuesday, I made the video on Wednesday, all of the support came through. And on Thursday, I had quit my job. And again, this is a corporate America job that people would dream of having potentially a six figure income and I was just able to quit that because of y'all guys. And that's fucking crazy to me, yo, that the community believes in me. Y'all guys believe in me as a content creator, as a YouTuber, as a streamer, as whatever the ad creator, whatever you want to call me, whatever's under my belt. Y'all guys believe in me enough that y'all were willing to throw a couple of dollars my way enough to be able to say, nah, we're not going to let corporate America destroy your dream go ahead and take this money and use it and build the platform and just expand, get bigger. You know, we're going to be here for you. That was all y'all. And it's one of the reasons why I think that personally, we have the best, we have the best community on YouTube, not even just reaction community, like one of the best communities on YouTube as a whole. I'm a one man band here. It's not like it's not like you're a Patreon to a to a podcast where it's an entire group of people and you get an extra and you get an extra you get an extra podcast a week or maybe you get like your name thrown at the end of the podcast or whatever. Like that's not what this is. The money was specifically given not because of the product. It was given because of the of, of the potential that y'all see in me as a person. And even today, the Patreon, even though it's dipped a decent amount, is, is still like hanging on enough to be able to support me as a, as, a, as a person and my bills and everything around the house around just to keep in front of the camera for y'all guys. I've yet to go be a server at some restaurant just to pay the bills so I can stay in front of the camera. I'll do that if I have to, but I would rather not leave this camera sight so that way we can have the channel expand and there has been hurdles there has been obstacles there has been setbacks the channel hasn't grown as fast as i would like it to patreon it, it, it kind of was like just it was all trial and error over there in terms of what i was posting the content that i was making available when i was getting to people's requests again i'm a one-man band so i do all the editing the marketing the uploading the checking of social medias patreon like everything that you would expect a two million subscriber channel on 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 youtube to have I do all of that at the 200,000 level all by myself. So not only is it people who are willing to and capable of parting with some money financially to support the dream and support the community, they're also the same people who have crazy amount of patience because I am a one person, like I'm a one man band. There's been Patreon requests that have slipped through the cracks that people paid money for. There had been there had been a, like a couple of weeks in there where I hadn't made a post on Patreon because I didn't know what to post, but people aren't just you know, jumping shit because of that. They're like, all right, this dude's doing it by himself, you know, and I, we believe in him. It's got nothing to do with what I gained from the Patreon subscription. It's got more to do with what, how I feel about supporting this guy. And that's crazy to me, yo. I don't know of any other, you know, reactor that would have had that amount of support at that time in the channel in terms of the size to be able to just completely quit a full-time gig, not only in the reaction space of, of YouTube, but all of YouTube in general. To this day, Patreon remains like 85% of my overall total income. And Patreon has dipped quite a good amount to the point where I am like floating that line between 
Patreon not being enough to be able to support, you know, the mortgage, my health insurance, all of those things. So that's a whole nother separate video as to why people, I would hope people would be willing to go to Patreon and support because I am losing support over there slightly. Um, but there's more content than there was within this last year over on Patreon. So if y'all guys are in a monetary capable position, y'all want to support the channel monetarily, you know, y'all want to keep this thing going. Patreon is still most definitely the place to give donation or if you want to subscribe and say, hey, I also find potential in this guy and who we can be in the next year, year and a half. And within the next year, year and a half, two years, I hope to, you know, get big enough, maybe get more endorsements, maybe get more ads like Honey to where you know, I don't have to heavily rely on the Patreon so much because with the Patreon, with money being supported from the community, there is a lot of added pressure, um, especially considering now it's my full time job. It's no longer passive income. The pressure is there. It's one of the reasons why I sit in front of this computer 85 hours a week, making videos, streaming, editing videos, thinking of vlog ideas, you know, yada, yada, yada. I do more work now on YouTube than I ever did making less money. I just need the channel to grow and I need it to do a certain amount before I can like, you know, stabilize income and not have to worry so much on Patreon. But because I still am, most of my income comes from Patreon. I still would like and would and would ask of y'all if y'all guys would consider going over there and supporting, especially considering we revamped the Patreon and there is a crazy amount of, of, of content, videos, exclusive reactions that will never see the light of day. And that's another thing I'll talk about on the Patreon. But, you know, this this thing is a business at the end of the day. Now, it is no longer a hobby. I have to run it like a business. And if YouTube doesn't pay the bills and Patreon does, there's going to be a lot of extra content on Patreon that will no longer see the light of day, won't ever see the light of day on YouTube. So I'll, I'll make a separate video explaining the importance of Patreon and what I make you know, monthly from YouTube and yada, yada, and explain why Patreon supplements. And hopefully that entices and, and incentivizes some of y'all to be like, all right, I get it. I do want this guy to succeed. I do see the potential in him. Here's a couple of dollars a month. Give me some extra content and we're going to ride this thing off until we explode. Basically we're within the next two years. I plan to either explode on YouTube or explode on Twitch or both either way. It's only going to be because of the support of the community. But that's about it, guys. Patreon, as always, is the first link in the description. Um, I just wanted to come over here and say thank y'all guys for who, who allowed me to go full time back in the day. Thank y'all for who are still supporting on Patreon. Thank y'all who subscribed within the last year. We got about 80,000, 85,000 subscribers in the last year in order to get me to the 200 mark. It's a milestone mark, but it's also a mark that I didn't expect to hit so slowly. I was expecting to get past 200,000 you know, by my birthday, which was three months ago. So I, I know why we didn't hit it as fast as we wanted to. And that's another reason why we're changing up how we do everything. Um, and I'll go over that completely in the next video, but I'm happy for the 200,000 as always. I'm happy for the community. The community is bigger and better than I had ever dreamed it would be. And it's only growing. And y'all guys are the main reasons why that could happen. Patreon or not, even if you're not Patreon, liking the videos, leaving comments, subscribing, all of those things helps. Like it helps the algorithm. It helps the videos get pushed to other people. So y'all are doing y'all's part by doing those things as well. So that's all I really wanted to say. I appreciate y'all. We're a year in. Hopefully we can keep this thing going for as for the foreseeable future. And until I am able to do that alone, just from ad revenue, the, the, the community is going to be the main supporters of the channel. The community is the channel and the channel is the community. It is not me as the YouTube star, quote unquote. I'm not some celebrity who has fans. There's a reason why I call y'all the third fam, because that's what y'all are. Y'all are the third circle of family. And I appreciate y'all guys being here for the ride. But other than that, I appreciate everybody's time back to normal videos after the Patreon one. But like I always say at the end, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody in the next video.